Hello and welcome to my shop. In today's video we're going to take this old sewing machine base and turn it into an entryway table by adding a solid wood tabletop. Should be fairly simple, so let's get it on! Went to the lumber yard and got this nice piece of five quarter red oak, which is the species the client and I had decided on. I need to cut two pieces out of this board to get the width I need. So here I'm laying out where to cut those from. Once I picked out the best sections, I headed over to the miter saw to cut them out. Cutting rough saw number can be a bit dodgy. As you can see, the wood closes in on itself after the cut and actually pinches my blade, which is why you'd normally use a bandsaw or a jigsaw. The remaining cuts weren't as bad and I was able to get away with it. The boards were actually fairly flat, so I was able to just send them through my planer as is. Once I skip planed the top nice and flat, I could flip them over and plane the bottom parallel to the top. Then over at the table saw, I used my tapering slash jointing jig to get one straight edge on each board. If you're curious how I made that tapering jig, you can click on the top right corner or on the link in the description below. And with the freshly jointed edge riding against the fence, I then cut both boards to width. Next, I arranged the boards in a way that gave me the best looking results. Then use my jack plane to clean up the saw marks for a nice tight glue line. You can see the difference that makes in this picture. Glue time! The next day I took it out of the clamp. This sucker is heavy. Using the combination of chisels and planes, I removed any glue squeeze out. Then was back to the table saw to cut the final width of 15 inches. And then using my crosscut sled, I trimmed it to final length of 38 inches. I made a radius corner template from hardboard and used a pattern bit with a bearing to round over the corners. Unfortunately, as you can see, my bit wasn't long enough, so I had to then flip the top over and use a flush trim bit to finish the job. I then did a whole bunch of sanding up to 220 grit. And after that, everything got a small round over. And 
lastly the end grain got some hand sanding action. I elongated the screw holes in the base to allow for seasonal wood movement. Then all that was left to do was center the base on the top, mark and pre-drill the screw holes and attach it. Here are some pictures of it in my house. So there you have it. Now I didn't put any finish on it because the client wants to stain it in hopes of matching the flooring in her house where this is going to live. So as far as my involvement is concerned, uh, job's done. Uh, let me just interrupt you there. The client was nice enough to send me a couple of pictures of it all done. Um, it turned out nice. Uh, it gives this old piece another lease on life and I hope the client enjoys it for years to come. Thank you for watching.